Real estate transactions are the biggest purchases most people make in their lifetimes. But how do the real estate professionals who facilitate these transactions get paid for the services they provide? Let's take a closer look. First, agent compensation is always negotiable. Always. Compensation is negotiable at the outset or as agreed to by the parties at any time before the transaction closes. Second, those costs are spelled out to both buyers and sellers. As part of the written listing agreement, sellers decide what fee they are willing to pay for their agent's services and how much of that fee should go to a real estate agent who finds the buyer. Buyers are told their agent is being paid by the listing agent and how much. At closing, both sellers and buyers are reminded how much each agent is being paid and by whom. To maximize transparency, the National Association of Realtors also encourages the use of buyer representation agreements to reinforce the services they provide and explain how they expect to be paid. Third, agents usually only get paid if the home sells. For sellers, their brokers are typically paid out of the proceeds of the sale. For buyers, the listing broker pays the buyer broker's compensation. And that's a big deal. Why? Because saving for a down payment on a house is already really tough. If buyers had to pay their agents out of pocket or in advance, it would put home ownership out of reach for even more Americans. And fewer buyers means fewer people able to bid on homes that sellers are trying to sell. At the same time, sellers don't have to pay their agents unless their home sells for an acceptable price. Fourth, because everything is negotiable, there are no standard commissions or service offerings. Real estate agents provide tremendous value. Some consumers want to do more of the work on their own, and some want their agents to do everything. Either way, agents are professionals there to help you navigate all the financial, legal, and community aspects of selling or buying a home. Like all services, real estate agent compensation varies based on service, consumer preference, and the free market, but it also fluctuates. In fact, commission rates have fallen to well below where they were in the 90s, all while real estate agent value has continued to increase. There are many different types of agents with different types of commission structures and levels. Bottom line, sellers and buyers can both utilize and compensate real estate agents as they see fit. So remember these four things about real estate compensation. One, it is always negotiable. Two, costs are spelled out to buyers and sellers. Three, agents usually only get paid if a home sells. And four, there are no standard commissions or service offerings. What does all this mean for consumers? When you go to buy or sell a home, you have choices. Choices about getting expert help or not. Choices about paying more for greater value or paying less. And choices to negotiate that pay at any time. Only Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors.